abide in me. John chapter 15 verse 9 In the matter of determination, the Spirit of Jesus is put into me by way of the atonement by the cross of Christ. I then have to build my thinking patiently to bring it into perfect harmony with my Lord. God will not make me think like Jesus. I have to do it myself. I have to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 Abide in me, in intellectual matters, in money matters, in every one of the matters that make human life what it is. Our lives are not made up of only one neatly confined area. Am I preventing God from doing things in my circumstances by saying that it will only serve to hinder my fellowship with Him? How irrelevant and disrespectful that is. It does not matter what my circumstances are. I can be as much assured of abiding in Jesus in any one of them as I am in any prayer meeting. It is unnecessary to change and arrange my circumstances myself. Our laws inner abiding was pure and unblemished. He was at home with God wherever his body was. He never chose his own circumstances but was meek submitting to his father's plans and directions for him. Just think of how amazingly relaxed our Lord's life was. But we tend to keep God at a fever pitch in our lives. We have none of the serenity of the life which is hidden with Christ in God. Colossians chapter 3 Verse 3. Think of the things that take you out of the position of abiding in Christ. You say, Yes, Lord, just a minute. I still have this to do. Yes, I will abide as soon as this is finished, or as soon as this week is over. It will be all right, Lord. I will abide then. Get moving. Begin to abide now. In the initial stages, it will be a continual effort to abide. But as you continue, it will become so much a part of your life that 
you will abide in Him without any conscious effort. Make the determination to abide in Jesus wherever you are now or wherever you may be placed in the future.